Scenario 1, two-way valve. One basic valve is a two-way valve. It has one input port, two output ports, and a vent. Normally both output ports are used, but for a basic single line circuit, this valve has had one port plugged. This allows air to be supplied only to the opening port of the unilock chuck to unclamp the fixture. When the valve is closed, the air that was supplied to the chuck is exhausted out of the vent port allowing the chuck to clamp, holding the fixture in place. The next type of valve is called a three-way valve. It has one input port, two output ports, and a vent port. Also, it has a central position called the open center position. The open center allows air from either port of the unilock chuck to vent. As the valve moves between supplying the output ports, the center position allows for venting of the chuck. This will cause the chuck to open or close under spring pressure and then under air assisted pressure. Scenario 3, three-way valve with a closed center. The second type of three-way valve is very similar to the first. It also has one input port, two output ports, and a vent port. However, its central position is called a closed center position. The closed center position prevents air from either port on the chuck to vent. As the valve moves between supplying the output ports, the center position stops air from venting from the chuck. In some cases, this may be needed to allow time to load or unload fixture changes. Caution should be used to prevent the machine from being used while the chucks are in the open state.